Now that we have all the clips laid, the roofs marked, we're ready to lay the cable. In this, the very start of this process is unrolling the cable correctly so you don't have any issues with the cable down the road or in the installation process. All right, so here's our kit. Easy Heat comes in kits, constant wattage cable. We're gonna take this out of the box. Don't need the box. There's packages of clips. You'll need these later. One of the most common mistakes people make is unboxing this and unwrapping it. First thing you wanna do is take all the zip ties off of this thing. Once you have all the ties off of it, you want to take this cable and the inside piece, ravel it back to the inside, and take the cable and unwrap it, rolling it correctly so it comes off the line clean. That way you don't get twists in the line, okay? When done unraveling a cable, you should have some clean straight lines just like this. All right, we're at a point we're going to start laying the cable. In this process, we're going to actually feed the cable into the gutter where the first clip begins and bring it around through the gutter system. Please keep in mind, go underneath every gutter spike. Do not go across the top of them. That's a common mistake made. If you go over the top of the gutter spike, it does not allow for heat to go in the bottom of the gutter and allow for water to flow cleanly. You'll notice that we have one person feeding the cable in, another person to pull the cable to the end. This allows us the opportunity to avoid tension against the cable and pulling against sharp edges in the gutter. At this point, you want to make sure you've got enough cable to go down your downspout and to your drain system. So we can see we're checking the length up against the wall and where the downspout's going to be. We also want to check the distance for the drain to carry the cable all the way out to the landscaping. You want to make sure that you don't allow any freezing to happen underneath the cement area that's going to be clear in the wintertime. If you have excess cable, send it back up through the downspout locations and pull it back up onto the roof and in the gutter system. And you can see right there we have just enough. At the downspout here, we've pulled some excess cable up. We want to pull that excess cable back through the, downs through the gutter system. Right there, we have just enough. There we go. Perfect. Once we have the gutter system laid and all the cable in there, we're now gonna run the cable on the roof edge. Starting this process, we wanna make sure that we tuck enough cable coming back in the gutter to the end so we don't get freezing up along this area. Then we're going to come to our first clip and set that first clip with the cable in the clip and bring it up onto the roof edge. We've laid our first loop on the shortest section of the gutter system. Now, at this point, we could run the valley, but we're going to hold off, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. But we're going to make sure that each one of these clips in the gutter area are tight and secure. Now that we've installed the heat cable on our first section coming to the valley, we want to install it from the back part of the second section all the way to the next valley. So we're going to come over here. At this point, you're going to take the other end of the heat cable because our power is located down here. And you're going to run the heat all the way to the end of the downspout right there, or the end of the gutter, 
clip into your first clip in the gutter location and then bring up your cable on the roof and start doing your serpentine pattern across the roof edge. Now that we've finished the two sides, we now have the two valleys and the center point. You want your two valleys to look exactly the same, if possible. So at this point, you're going to find the center of the excess of the cable by running it up the roof, taking the center point, bringing it down, setting it in your center clip between the two valleys, and then work your way from that point out to the valleys. At this point, if you have too much cable or if you don't have quite enough, the buffer zone for your system can be in the valley. Okay, when you come into the valley, you want to make sure you clip your clips to the shingles on the sides. They have a better secure hold that way. In this valley, you're going to want to make sure you don't have heat cable lines touching. This is a common mistake made. Once you've started securing your clips for the valley, go ahead and set the peak part of the valley and then set your clips in between to secure the cable so it doesn't blow around in the wind or whatnot. This section of gutter, the short one, we have a piece of cable that goes back towards the end of the gutter. We want to make sure that we put spacers on this so that the cable doesn't cross itself. As an example, you'll see as we get into the gutter, these cables can cross themselves and short out. So you want to make sure you, you untwist it and set some spacers so that the cable doesn't get in contact with its own line. The clips holding the heat cable to the roof can often release and so in the process of the install towards the end you want to actually glue these in place. Please be advised screws, nails and staples when you penetrate the roof will compromise the integrity of the roof. It will also avoid the warranty of the roof in that location. So avoid screws, nails and staples. Use an adhesive to secure that clip to the shingles.
At this stage, we want to feed the cable into the downspout and take it all the way to the bottom of the downspout and into the ground. In this situation, we've actually put a new downspout on because the other one was old enough. It looked like it would be pretty leaky. Now we want to take the excess that we allowed to go under the cement and through the drain and feed it into this drain pipe. If you need to, maybe pull a string line through there so you can pull the cable through. And this one is actually going in fairly nice and easy. Now we drop the downspout down into the hole and we should be good at that point. We now want to coordinate the power cord from the heat cable. In doing this, we want to make a clean install. So we're going to disconnect the elbow of the downspout, feed the power cord down the downspout out of the gutter. It's going to come down outside of that elbow. We're going to double it back in the downspout itself and bring it up outside We want to make sure we have enough power cord to get to the location where we're going to put the plug. So we've added power in the soffit on this process. For that video, watch it. You'll have a link on here. You can see how we added power. But we have a new roof, new cable. This house is ready for winter. We hope that this install video was helpful and informative to help you guys understand how to do this yourself. Keep posted for additional videos on heat cable across the board, all kinds of information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we appreciate you guys watching.